Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how you can make this marble blouse which is awesome and gorgeous and can be worn in two different ways. So I'm using this uh, cotton yarn. It's called uh, Rainbow Color Stonewashed from Hobby and uh, the recommended needle is 2.5 3.5 millimeters but I'm using a 4 millimeter crochet hook. I had here um, many colors. I uh, had a color bag actually with one skein of different colors and I didn't think about the colors at all. I just um, pick a skein from the bag and this was it. So you can use um, any cotton yarn that you want in any color. We will start with the foundation chain. These are the number of stitches that you will have to chain. So for uh, S, which uh, we are making this tutorial for S size, so we will chain 86 as you saw in the picture uh, shown before. If you didn't, you can just pause the video and on the picture and write it down if you need so. If don't, you can um, also click the link in the description below and you'll find all the details in uh, my blog post. So after chaining the stitches that we need for each size, we will uh, chain two more. And then in the third stitch, we will start doing our first double crochet. And we will do six double crochet. This will be uh, one side of the front side, one panel. I'm not sure which one yet, but is one side. So we will work six double crochet. This is for S size. For bigger sizes, M, L, XL, XXL, it will be with one stitch more. So for M we will have seven stitches for l uh no for m the same also six stitches for l and uh, xl we will have seven stitches and for xxl we will have eight stitches after finishing the number of stitches in the next stitch we will increase we will form the first corner the increase we will do with uh, one double crochet chain two and one double crochet in the same stitch then we will continue with uh, one double crochet in each stitch for the sleeve side and for size s we will have 20 stitches then again in the uh, next stitch we will have an increase so one double crochet chain two and another double crochet in the same stitch now we are continuing with the uh, back side for the back side we will have 30 stitches for size s and for size m is the same so you'll have the same number of stitches also for size uh, m and for other sizes you'll have all the details in my blog post like i said now after finishing the back side we will have a third corner so another increase double crochet chain two and another double crochet in the same stitch mm -hmm. then continue with the stitches for the sleeve for the second sleeve in our case on the size s we will work 20 double crochet after finishing the second sleeve we will increase again and make the fourth corner so double crochet chain two and another double crochet then we will do the remaining stitches, meaning the other panel of the front size, side, sorry, and you'll have the same number of stitches as at beginning, so in this case, six double crochet at the end of the row, of this row one. And this is it. We have one row of our beautiful marble 
blouse. I hope you enjoy it. It was uh, so amazing. I can be worn in two different way, ways. The second row, uh, we will start the second row again with chain two. Remember that chain two at every beginning of the row doesn't count as a stitch, doesn't count as a double crochet. So always you'll have to make in the first stitch one double crochet. So even if you made the two stitches at the beginning, this was uh, just to tie up the, our work and starting the next round, but in the next row, but basically we will do the first double crochet in the first stitch. And now we will have to make one double crochet in each stitch until you'll get to the first corner, meaning the chain two space that uh, is there after making the first uh, increase on the previous round if you want to be more easier to know where uh, to be easier to know where to make the increase you can use some stitch markers and put them there in the chain to space and then you will know that when you are getting to the stitch marker you will have to make an increase so now I'm working the last double crochet before the corner and now in the corner I will do one double crochet, chain two and again one double crochet. Then we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we will get to the next corner where we will proceed the same. So in the chain two space we will do the increase. And we will repeat this um, until we will get to the end of the row. Working the same in each corner, making the increase. And in the other stitches, we are doing one double crochet on the top of uh, each double crochet of the previous round. Now we are getting to the round three and pay attention because in this round we will start to increase at the beginning and at the end of the row. So I chained two and now in the first stitch we're doing two double crochet to make the increase. So this is the only difference between the third row and the second one because we are making two double crochet in the first stitch and we will do two double crochet in the last one as well. Then uh, the rest of the row is the same. So one double crochet in each stitch until you get to the corner, the chain two space and in the corner you'll have to do an increase okay and this is it so until uh, you'll finish the yoke this uh, three rows will be the uh, rows that you'll have to repeat to the end of the yoke so basically we will work two rows without increasing and one row increasing at every beginning uh, at the beginning and at the end uh, and we will repeat these three rows until we will get to the end of the yoke and we will have in total you will see immediately the number of rows that you'll have to work for each size actually I can tell you I think for size S it will be uh, 19 rows for size M 23 for size uh, L, 27 for size uh, 1XL L will be uh, 31 and then 33 for 2X large. And this uh, will be the number of rows that you'll have to make until you'll finish the, um, the yoke. Okay, let's put this aside because uh, I just finished the uh, yoke part. So in my case, I worked 19 rows. Here is my yoke. I know that I have a bad light here. It's uh, worse when you are working and you are taking the video on the um, not a natural light. 
and using this uh, stone washed yarn is uh, hard to see as well but you can see there is uh, noticeable that um, uh, our corners of the front sides are starting to approach, approach one of uh, to each other at one point they will be um, uh, one next to each other and then they will um, cross each other yes so now this was the finish of the yoke doesn't matter what was your last row if it was a row with increases or not doesn't matter beginning with the next row with a joining row or separating row because now we will uh, separate the front uh, panels and the back panel uh, from the sleeves Beginning with this uh, row, we will start to increase at the beginning and at the end of the row for each row. So, no more rows without increasing. Since now, uh, to the end of the... Okay, we will get to the end of the um, blouse. To, at the bottom of the blouse, we will continue to increase. Uh, if you want that your blouse to be uh, longer uh, than uh, than mine, also you'll have a diagram with the um, final measurements of uh, the blouse uh, for each side. Um, if you want to be longer, maybe you'll have not to uh, increase on each row, maybe skip one row and make it uh, without increasing, just to make sure that... Um, the corners of the front panel won't, won't pass the side edge of the blouse. This is actually the, uh, I don't know, the last line when you can, where you can get with the, with the front panel's corners. Okay, like I said, we will start the row with two double crochet in the first stitch and work one double crochet in the next stitches until we will get to the first corner. In the first corner, make a partial double crochet. So don't finish the double crochet that you made. Skip the stitches for the sleeve and then in the next corner, make another partial double crochet then yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops that you have on the hook and then continue with one double crochet in each stitch until you'll get to the next corner where you'll proceed the same to join the uh, back panel with the front panel with the opposite front panel Okay, now we are working uh, one double crochet in each stitch and we are now at the third corner and we, I did one partial double crochet. Then I skip the stitches for the sleeve and going to the fourth corner. And here I'm gonna do one partial double crochet again, then yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. And then continue with the rest of the stitches, making one double crochet in each stitch. And don't forget at the end of the row to um, make an increase again and uh, make two double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, we'll keep working the um, stitches to the end of the row and like I said at the end of the row we will do in the last stitch two double crochet and we will continue to work in this way until you'll get to the desired length of your blouse but don't forget you'll have to pay attention that your corners of the front panel is not to pass the um, sideline i don't know how to say it so you'll have to join it uh at the last point when you where you'll have to get with the front corner or the front panel corner is uh, the edge of the blouse <clears throat> so this is where you can get with the with the corners um and i made like uh, 22 rows and basically the length of the um, 
uh, of the blouse for each size will be the same. I didn't calculate it uh, otherwise. Basically, uh, I know that the different part of the uh, back waist length, let's say, is the upper part of the back, so from the armpits to the neck. So the armpit to the waist is basically almost the same to all sizes. But again, if you want to uh, work a different length, you can work on more rows. For sizes, I calculated at least 13 more rows that can be that can be made to reach a different a different length so there is space for more if you want to adjust the length of this blouse but what you'll have to do is to continue working in this way keep repeating this row until you'll get to the bottom of the blouse like i said i made uh, 22 rows but um, is up to you how many rows you'll want to make okay and we will continue working like this and at some point the uh, two front panels will uh, cross each other like this so this is the end of my uh, of my length I just uh, put the sweater like this make sure that uh, your side edges are aligned and is uh, uh, put it in the right way because now we'll have to uh, put these two front panels like this and we will start to join them together and we will do this by working the double crochet through the both sides I'm grabbing the loop here and uh, um, I will bring it in front then I will start the row as uh, usual basically is nothing different here only that I will do chain 2 and then I will insert the hook through all the loops make sure that your hook passes both sides So you will have four loops, yeah, two for one side and two for the other and make your double crochet in this way until you get it done with this part and you join the two pieces together, okay? And this will be our last row uh, from the body of the blouse and then we will have only to do the sleeves. Uh, by the way, you can let it with short sleeves if you want. It's not mandatory to make it uh, with sleeves. It looks nicer in this way too. Uh, it's too bad that I uh, was in a rush with this pattern and, and didn't was able to take some photos with short sleeves because it looks great in this way too. You can try it if you want. And... Um, with the sleeves, you'll see um, a little later on how they are done. Since then, we will just continue uh, to finish this row, this last row. After completing and uh, joining the two pieces together, we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we will get to the end of the round. Okay, this was it. I just finished this row in the meanwhile I just made uh, one sleeve also I made 22 rows for the sleeves uh, with no uh, decreasing so it's a straight uh, uh, straight sleeve let's say I will show you on the other sleeve how the, you can make this one so we will have to insert the yarn to the armpit. I'm using these two corners where you where we made a join uh, of the back with the front panels. I will use these two corners and I will insert the hook in the right corner. 
and basically I will join these two with uh, two partial uh, double crochet the same that we did when we joined the front side and the back side and I'm doing that because I don't want to increase the stitches of the sleeve and it's true that you'll have a little space in the armpit but uh, this can be sewed at the end so I don't think it's a, such a big problem. If you have uh, any other idea how to start these sleeves, you can do it in your way. It's not a problem. Then we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we will get to the end of the row. The sleeves, we will be work, working them in uh, rounds in a circular way but we will keep working on the front uh, right and wrong side just to keep the same look of the stitch because you know the double crochet work in rounds looks a little bit different when you are working on only on the right side that's why we will keep working uh, on the wrong side as well so here we are chaining two and turn okay and then one double crochet in the first stitch and continue with one double crochet in each stitch around and repeat this round um, for as many rows as you wish until you'll get to the desired length of your sleeve I uh, personally like the sleeves uh, the shorter sleeves you saw in all my patterns that basically this is the length that I'm using uh, all over the sweaters or blouses that I've made because uh, it's uh, the length of the sleeve in which I feel more comfortable of but you are free to try uh, a different length and the one that makes you feel uh, comfortable because this is the thing with this blouse okay after you are getting to the um, length that you desired I just use a contrasting color yarn is the same weight yarn so cotton is the same basically is the same brand so rainbow cotton only that it's in a solid uh, color I use this uh, eggplant color it was the darkest that I uh, have it and we will start by making an edge of the sleeve and we will also um, decrease a little bit on the next row just to make it um, make a smaller circumference of the sleeve but it's not mandatory do it as you wish this first row is made only in a single crochet so we will do one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the row then on the next row we will do the decreases that I'm talking about and uh, I was talking about a little bit uh, earlier and we will do this by making one single crochet then skip one stitch and another single crochet in the next one and we will repeat this to the end of the row so one single crochet skip one one single crochet no chaining in between so only single crochet and we will keep doing this to the end of the row then a third row that I've made is uh, also in single crochet but this time a twisted single crochet because I uh, like the look uh, of this twisted single crochet and I uh, love to use it instead of a regular single crochet border so here is how you can make the twisted single crochet so insert the hook and then turn your hook like 180 degrees and then um, yarn over and pull the yarn through the loops that you have through the hook so basically the first step is the same so yarn over insert the hook yarn over then twist yarn over pull the yarn through the loops and this is the sleeve 
now we will do a um, border also on the rest of the sweater also on at the bottom and on these edges of the front panels and we will do the first the front panels and we will start in one corner make one row uh, making one single crochet in each stitch going finishing the side of uh, the front panel then going continuing with the neckline and then going back and making one single crochet on the opposite uh, front panel then chain one turn and the second row will be in a twisted single crochet and then we will repeat the same two rows on the bottom of the blouse and basically this is these are the final touches that we will do at the blouse nothing more if you want of course you can add the brim i don't know on the sleeves as well okay so i will start in one corner of the um, the front panel insert the hook and like i said i will do a first row in a single crochet so i will do one single crochet in each stitch when you are working on the um I don't know the side of your work so now we are working basically we have to insert and make the stitches uh, into the rows <laughs> yes and because we have double crochet I always make one single crochet here on the double crochet and then one single crochet between the rows this uh, is uh, in this way you are keeping the um, uh, stitches uh, close to each other and looking um, uh, with no such a big spaces in between okay and keep doing the first row in single crochet then a second one in twisted single crochet this is, is the for side panels and the neckline and then you'll continue and repeat the same uh, two rows at the bottom and basically this was it and after finishing this um, border the marble blouse is done and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you like it because it can be worn in two different way and this is awesome and can't wait to see your yours thanks for watching to the next time